Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on your time zone of watching this video. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, my people. Updates concerning the court tribunal petition. News content. Let's hear a brief from Kenneth Okokwa. The Labour Party spokesman said, after a brief hearing of the matter, the court adjourned to Wednesday, 17th of May, 2023, for continuation of hearing. I will keep my viewer posted. We believe God for a positive outcome with supplication of our hearts to God in prayers. My fellow Nigerians, APC are delaying this hearing, but we pray for God's intervention for us to get a freedom so that the judiciary will not take bribe from the president elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. They should be neutral to give us the justice which Nigeria demanded for. We can see that the president elect has traveled back to London for his medical tour. Some said he's with Buhari over there for a brief meeting. But we pray for God's intervention so that this court petition, the judges will not take bribe. Because right now, Nigeria, they are confused. But we pray for God's intervention. This is the news for the moment. There is a video that is flying on the internet now showing the outgoing president's wife, Aisha Buhari, invited the president elect. Oluremi Tinobu, the wife of Tinobu, to presidential house to show her the surroundings. Does it mean that it's not a family business? This is the question people are saying, and this is what they are asking. And some commented, which I'm going to show you the comment right here. You are seeing the comment on the screen. This is what people are saying. You can read for yourself while I show you the video. For you to confirm what is happening in Nigeria. This is the news for the moment. For more outcome and update concerning Peter Obi hearing and the proceeding, I will be using my page and my YouTube channel to update you. Thank you. Please like, share so that it will reach others to know what is happening in Nigeria politics. Thank you, my people. I remain blessed. Glass House is a transitional home for the outgoing president. It's not meant for ordinary citizens of Nigeria, to be precise. It's like part of the main residence. It's not for everybody, but it's for the president who was elected and for his special guest. I'm advising that the, the glass house should maintain its tradition of being a transition, you know, for the outgoing president. So, As I'm talking, I think it has to remain so as a norm of the institution and of the house. First, I want to thank God for the life of Mr. President and the First Lady, for how God has kept them throughout their eight year tenure. And uh, despite they finished their tenure, I believe that, you know, uh, with the wealth of experience that Mr. President has and uh, the First Lady that, uh, you know, will be needing their cancer from time to time. Uh, I've gone around and um, she showed me, she's magnanimously showed me around the house and graciously explained a lot of things to me. Uh, I believe that, you know, God will help me, you know, when we move in by the grace of God. And then, you know, we will be able to make impactful contributions to the nation.